So 2022 is coming to an end. We're not going to be seeing any new Pokemon sets released this year. And it's been a... um interesting year for Pokemon. We've had some real highs like Brilliant Stars, but also some real lows like Pokemon Go. <laughs> With that being said, I thought it was about time we ran through the top 10 most valuable Pokemon cards from 2022. So let's rip into it. Okay, so before I jump into the list, a couple of things to point out to you. Firstly, I'm only including cards in this list from sets that were released in 2022. So no older sets like Evolving Skies and stuff like that. Also, they're only going to include English Pokemon cards. I'm not doing any of the Japanese sets within this list. However, I am going to give you guys some bonus cards, a little bonus list later on in the video. They include some interesting cards that I think are worth noting. And also, finally, do note that the prices that I'm going to be showing you are how much the cards are selling for as of right now. I haven't done prices from when the set came out. It's what they're selling for as of this exact moment. All right, so in 10th place, and uh, I actually made this a joint 10th place because there were four cards that were so close on price. As you can see here, guys, I had to include them all. The Starmie V from the Trainer Gallery subset from Astral Radiance, the Arceus V alternate art from Brilliant Stars, the Origin Form Palkia V alternate art from Astral Radiance, and the Lost Origins Pikachu V Max from the Trainer Gallery subset four absolutely stunning cards and all coming in at about 40 pounds in ninth place we have the unknown v alternate art this is actually one of my favorite cards of the year to be honest i really really love the design of it never been a massive unknown fan but this card very very cool coming in at 42 pounds Speaking of favourite cards, I'd actually love to hear from you guys. What is your favourite Pokemon card of 2022? It can be a promo card, it can be a Japanese card, it can be absolutely everything. It does not have to be a card from this list. I'm just intrigued to know what everyone's favourite is. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And uh, for reference, mine is the alternate art Charizard from Brilliant Stars. I love that card. I still actually need to pull it. I haven't, haven't actually got it yet. In eighth place, we have the Rotom V alternate art. Now, interestingly, this is a card that seems to have slightly climbed in value. It definitely wasn't worth this like a month or so back, but it started to climb. I don't know if it's playable or something like that, but it's coming in at about £47. In seventh place, we have the Origin Form Dialga alternate art from Astral Radiance. Another stunning card, and I think this one is worth more than the Palkia, because is it slightly more playable again? That could be something to do with it, but again, this one's coming in at about £52. In sixth place, we have a Charizard, the first one, the Charizard V-Star Rainbow Rare. Interestingly, as it's even, even though it's a rainbow, it still holds some really good value. And that's, of course, because it is a Charizard, guys. And it's coming in at around £80. Now, by the way, if you're watching this video before Thursday, the 22nd December, 8 p.m. UK time, then make sure to come and tune in to my Whatnot stream tonight because I've got two boxes of V-Star Universe that I'm giving away for free. I'm opening the packs and giving them away for free to you guys that tune in and watch that stream. So make sure you go and get the Whatnot app downloaded and give me a follow. I'll put links and everything in the description down below and I'll see you tonight. And you never know, guys. God pack. It's got to happen at some point, right? In fifth place, we have the Aerodactyl V alternate art. Beautiful card. This is actually a big chase card for a lot of people. But the value on this card has started to drop. And it's actually dropped quite a bit. It used to be well over £100. It's now coming in at about £85. In fourth place, this one is actually dropped a lot as well. The Machamp V alternate art. This, when this set came out, I did a video with the top 10 list. And I remember giving the value of this originally of around like 75 or something like that. And then it climbed in value. And everyone was commenting on the video. This card's like worth £200, blah, blah. Well, guys, it's tanked back down. And it basically got falsely inflated, in my opinion. I think people were just overpaying for the card, and it does seem to have dropped. It's come down to about £95. Now, before we jump into top three, let's have a look at some other notable cards. So, for example, the Umbreon VMAX alternate art from Evolving Skies. This card has continually climbed in value. I still cannot get my head around why this card is so valuable. If I'm honest, compared to other alternate arts and big chase cards from other sets, it's got crazy value. It beats pretty much every Charizard from the Sword and Shield era in value. It's probably the most valuable card from the Sword and Shield era, I actually think, guys. Going for about £350 right now. Another big card from Evolving Skies with the Rayquaza VMAX Alt and Art. And this is another one that is beating all of the competition through the Sword and Shield era. Absolutely crazy. Value on this, again, is very, very high. £290 it's been consistently selling for throughout 2022. Now, one of the biggest cards to come out during this year was the Special Delivery Charizard. Now, 
Don't get me wrong, it's not valuable, okay? It's currently selling for about £30. And up until the end of the year, up until the end of 2022, you can still actually get it with your orders with the promo codes if you spend £20. But it's mad with this card. It was just so, so popular, so hyped about when it was coming around. And the value just really wasn't there. When you bear in mind that the Special Delivery Pikachu was consistently selling for over £100, and then this one comes out... And it just really tanked. Now, I don't know if it's because it was available in other countries and not just available in America and Canada. The fact it was now available in the UK made people easier to get hold of. But yeah, I, I don't know. It's sitting around 30. Could this be something to rise in the future? I think so. I think this could be a £50 card towards the end of next year, in my opinion. I don't know. What do you reckon? Another interesting card to be released this year was the Pikachu on the ball. Now, of course, when this originally got launched, it was only to football clubs. Very, very hard to get hold of. And I think I even saw someone pay like five grand for one of these cards when it originally got announced. I think it was actually 2021, was it? I think. But anyway, it got released as a promo card within game earlier this year. Actually, it's still available right now from game uh, when you spend £15 on Pokemon cards. And it's currently selling for like £20. So don't get me wrong, though. I do think that that price will again go up next year when it's not available anymore and stuff. When stuff becomes unavailable, it does sort of start to climb. You know, people can dictate the market a little bit on there. So, um, you know, if you can grab one now for 20 quid and you don't have one, it's probably worth grabbing now. And a huge card that was launched this year. Now, it is a Japanese card, but it's the Precious Collection Pikachu promo card. This thing is very, very cool. And actually, it would be the most valuable card of 2022 if it was included in like my main part of the list because the value is about 350 pounds the mad thing about this is this was a box that was actually made to order so they open it up as many people could order this box as they wanted to guys and then it was shipped out and made to order i managed to get hold of one it cost me a hundred pounds to get the box made to order don't get me wrong i had to pre-order like seven months before the product actually came out but i'm very glad i did because now i have the box there it is, guys. And I absolutely love it. It's a beautiful product. I still can't decide whether or not to open it and actually take the promo card out. What, what would you do? Okay, time for the top three. And in third place, the Charizard V Alternate Art from Brilliant Stars. My favorite card of 2022, I have to say. I absolutely love this card. And actually, the value of this card and like number two and number one are actually very, very close. But the interesting thing about the Charizard is the price on this has actually slowly started to climb. Now, could this be a future Moonbrion card? I don't know. Potentially could be. But all I know is right now, it's going to cost you about £165. In second place, we have the Lugia V Alternate Art from Silver Tempest. An absolutely beautiful card. They finally gave a Lugia an Alternate Art. Of course, it's going to have massive value. And of course, it's going to be extremely popular. Current value, about £170. And in first place, we have the Giratina V Alternate Art. This is definitely the most valuable card of 2022, beating the Lugia and the Charizard to the top spot. And it is a very, very cool card. I think a lot of the value in this card sits in the fact it's quite hard to pull. I've seen a lot of people getting the Lugia, quite a lot of people getting the Charizard. This seems to be very, very tough. And Lost Origins was tough for pull rates, as we all know, guys. And the value of this sits at £180. So there we go, guys. That is the top 10 most valuable cards of 2022. And one thing that I take away from that is the fact that Pokemon prices have definitely really started to bottom out. I remember when I did this list for 2021, the prices of cards were a lot higher on average and they've definitely dropped down. That's part probably to the economy and the way things are going. But also, I think just to people having a bit more knowledge in the market now, realizing when they're overpaying for stuff, which I think is good because I don't like seeing people overpay for Pokemon products and Pokemon cards so it's good to see that people are potentially starting to learn but what are your thoughts on the state of the market what are your thoughts on the price of the cards what are your thoughts on the list make sure to let me know in the comments down below other than that though thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support during 2022 it has been absolutely incredible we hit some incredible milestones like 15,000 subscribers it's just been amazing and I am so so grateful and I cannot wait for 2023 and what a year it's going to be kicking off with crowns and if mwah, what a set that's going to be can't wait for it and i hope to see you all there guys so make sure you hit that subscribe button guys and give the video a like tune in to some of my videos there stay safe see you in the new year happy new year merry christmas bye bye peace